All right. So give yourself a little bit of space. And let's just go ahead and type in button underscore down underscore video equals button right. And let's see, can I copy that? Yes, I can. And what do I want to change? I want to change this to download underscore video. And I want to change the row to seven so I don't have things overlapping. And I want to change that to download. And let's see. Oh my gosh, so many typos today. Download, all right. Uh, let's see, do I want to change anything else? I think this will look better if it was 22. Anything else, anything else, anything else? I think I'm good to go. All right, so let me just um, rerun this again. And as you guys can see, we have the radio buttons right here we have the URL, the path, the clear, clear path, clear all, and also the download button. But as you guys can see, I mean, <laughs> the download button doesn't do anything. So let's just go ahead and actually it gives us a bunch of errors because it's saying, hey, it's not defined. So let's just go ahead and define it. So to define it, copy that and give yourself a little bit of space. And let's just go ahead and type in define and go ahead and pretty much give yourself a little bit of space here and uh, let's go ahead and type in youtube underscore url and pretty much what we want to do is we want to convert whatever the user have passed to a string and we also and let's just get it back get and we also want to strip it and what that means is pretty much take any white space out. So let me explain to you what this line of code is gonna do. If the user pretty much input like Mo here, uh, the user is gonna, uh, the program is gonna do, okay, it's gonna take this whole thing, it's gonna surround it by string, and if there was any white space right here, it's gonna remove all that white space. That's what pretty much this line of code right here is going to do. So let me just delete that. Um, all right, so now that we have the YouTube URL, what do we want to do with it? What we want to do first is we want to check if it's actually a URL, not a fake thing. All right, so how do we want to do that? Go ahead and type in if um, YouTube URL dot starts with, and actually can use this right here. And I'm gonna paste that right here. And this is pretty much is gonna allow us to check that the user or that the data that the user have inputted is actually correct. He did not make this up. Uh, yeah, this is a neat little trick. And let's just go ahead and declare another variable and set that equal to YouTube. <clears throat> and let's just go ahead and pass in the URL, all right? So now we have this variable, which is pretty much gonna allow us to uh, check out all the possible options to download this YouTube videos. If that doesn't make sense, I will explain it to you right now. So let's just go ahead and create a variable called videos. And set so that equal to uh, ut.streams.all. So let me just pretty much explain to you what streams are. So what this line of code is pretty much saying is this. Hey, go to this YouTube video that is online and pretty much check all the qualities. Check this quality, this quality, this quality. Take all these qualities and put them in a list and send them back to me. So pretty much this what this is going to return, what videos is gonna be, is pretty much a list of all the qualities that this video has. So if this video has um, 1080, 720, 480, it's gonna pretty much give you that. 
if a video only has 360 and 280, uh, 240, it's just going to give you that and on and on and on and on. So that's pretty much what this line of code is going to do. And let me continue. And now what we want to do is uh, we want to use the radio button to check uh, what kind of quality does the pretty much the user want to download. Does he want to download a uh, good quality or a bad quality? Guys, I want to tell you one thing before we actually do this. This uh, pretty much videos is going to be a huge list of all the qualities. It could be five, it could be six, and sometimes it could be just four. You know, it depends on the video. In my case, this video has one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, so it has all that. But some other videos do not have all that. But by default, like normally, the first, uh, pretty much the first uh, output or the first index of this list is going to be the best quality. And the last index of this list is going to be the worst quality. So this is why I'm doing this good quality and poor quality. I'm, if, uh, if the user pretty much clicked on this, I'm going to get the index of zero, uh, pretty much the best quality that exists in this list. And if the user input this, I'm pretty much going to get the worst quality. Or in other words, I'm going to get the last, uh, the last stream or the last video or pretty much the last, uh, how would you say that? Uh, I'm going to get this quality right here, which is the last one, which is the poorest quality. So let's just go ahead and do that. If quality dot get equals zero. And guys, remember, where did I get this get from? It's from right here. So as soon as I click this button, good quality quality is going to be zero as soon as I click poor quality which is this button right here this quality is going to be one all right simple enough so if quality is zero uh, what do we want to do if quality is zero then we want to take video and set it equal to videos of index of zero and guys remember the index of zero is like the best quality. And else, um, let's just go ahead and copy this, paste it. Uh, if uh, quality is not zero, in other words, it's if it's one, what do we want to do is we want to go to length of videos minus one. And what this will pretty much allow us to do, oh no, not here, right here. Uh, what this pretty much is gonna allow us to do is this. It's gonna say, hey, go to this list and get the worst video. And what this is gonna allow us to do is gonna say, hey, go to this list and get the best video, okay? Again, best video, worst video, simple enough. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, once we have, uh, the video that we want we're just going to go ahead and download it so to do that it's actually pretty simple go ahead and type in video down load and go ahead and type in string because i mean this is the video that you download and pretty much this is saying hey where do you want to download it to well i do have the path so path dot get dot strip and what strip pretty much is going to allow you to do it's the same thing that is going to allow you to do here it's pretty much going to remove any white space so yep that's pretty much it and let's see i mean after we want to do that it would be nice to say hey clear all and guys i want to add this one last thing right here and this thing is pretty much let me Oops, I messed it up. I messed it up again. All right. Um, 
what this thing pretty much is going to allow us to do is uh, update the user. So if the user pretty much input uh, a wrong URL or anything like that, we just want to tell the user, hey user, you pretty much messed up and you got to repeat that again. So let's just go ahead and do that. Update user and let's go ahead and type in info. So that equal to, let's see, you might forgot to enter a correct URL or path or haven't checked the quality. Boom, here we have it. <laughs> Let's put quality big letter right here so so the user can can understand that we're pretty damn serious about this all right so and then to add this to the window you actually gotta uh add it so to do that you guys already know how to do that we just pretty much gotta add a label so update uh label and let's see it's gonna be on the bottom and can I get those fonts? Yes, I can. So I'm going to pass in that right here. I'm going to turn that to 20 because, I mean, it's going to look better. I promise. And let's see. Text. Set that to info. And let's see. I want that to be 5. I want the text to look a little bit nice. And let's set the background to color. And after we do that, we want to... Can just copy that and type in grid and I'm gonna go to the row of zero and columns one all right I think that's pretty much it let me tie this up a little bit all right if everything worked well and let me tie this up a little bit too all right, our code, and let me just bring this down right here. All right, the code actually looks pretty stinking neat. All right, so let's see what do we got. Uh, do we need anything else? Do we need to add anything? I think I think that's pretty much it. Let me just go ahead and rerun this again.